What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Last week, I talked about my Dane Cook car accident story. This time, it's my Dane Cook date story. I didn't go on a date with Dane Cook, but he was a part of a date I went on. It was kind of a strange situation in general. So I met this girl online that was back in like 07-ish uh, MySpace days. There was other social net, you know, social media networks out there um, similar to MySpace. There was one that was like a weed version of it. This was way before I started smoking weed um, or a few years before I started smoking weed. But uh, it was a weed social network. I met this girl who was going to an art college out in L.A. She was from you know, Midwest, or I forget where she was living before uh, she moved, but she was going to an art school that I had been accepted to out of high school, but for many reasons didn't ever end up going. Went and visited the school. It's called Otis College of Art and Design out in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, so she was going to go there. She was going there, and uh, she was moving. So, you know, we're back and forth, hot and heavy online, back and forth, you know, kind of, kind of getting jiggy with it. And uh, she's moving. She needs a mattress. The place I'm living, uh, I, I had just moved as well. And I had this giant queen mattress that wasn't going to fit. Uh, and I needed to get rid of it because I needed to, you know, get... I ended up getting, like, a, a one of those futon bed. It, I was living in, like, a studio situation. And so I was going to get rid of the mattress. So I decided I'm going to give her the mattress. We're going to meet... Uh, when she's moving, I think I want to say we showed up. I showed up um, the day that she moved. I can't remember. It was very – her parents were there to help her move. So I got to meet her parents also. Uh, but I had this whole date planned out, right? So I'm going to drive up to L.A. I was living in San Diego at the time. Drive up to L.A. with this mattress. I have a pickup truck, so it was, you know, super easy to take it up there, um, you know. Give her the mattress, you know. And actually, this is the first time we're meeting in person. Like, every, all of our connections were online. You know, pictures sent back and forth and things said back and forth. Like, we're, you know, it's, it's been developing. Um, so this is kind of a first date. And I, I was, you know, I wanted to do this first date up. So I'm going to bring this mattress. I meet her parents. It's going to be weird. But I have this idea. I'm going to take her. She's a vegan which it's, I'm attracted for some reason. The majority of girls, women that I've gone out with have been vegetarian or vegan uh, at least part of their life or at least while we were going out. Uh, so went to a vegan restaurant, had plans to go to a vegan restaurant, and then from the vegan restaurant go to the beach, park, and uh, watch the sunset. You know, be like super romantic, whatever, whatever. And uh, so that's what we did. So I went there, brought her the mattress, uh, met her parents, which I'm sure it was awkward for them. It's like, oh, this guy that you, you've never actually met in person, you met online, he's bringing you a mattress, and you're going to go hang out with him. Uh, so I give her the mattress. We go to the restaurant. Ends up not being very good. Uh, it was more of like it was vegan food that w was not at all trying to make it taste good it was just like kind of it, it was like gravel it was i got like a wrap if i remember correctly it was like some kind of wrap but it was just like it the texture of it was just super dry and gravelly inside so i don't know what it was who knows who knows it was very unsatisfying especially for someone who's not a vegan um although i've had very you know i've had really good vegan food i think the fake meat part of being vegan is pretty it's confusing to me. It's like, why are you going to eat meat substitutes instead of just eating meat? It's like, I get it. You don't want animals to die, but you're eating a heavily processed piece of food. Um, but yeah, so we go to the vegan restaurant. wasn't that good. So we go to a beach. I don't know what beach it was, right? I don't know what beach it was, but somehow we parked. I got a parking spot where you could see like the beach kind of and like the sun and I think we showed up a little bit too early, but the idea was, okay, I'm going to roll down the windows, we're going to go in the bed of my truck, and we're going to, you know, make out. I got, like, I think I had, like, blankets maybe or sleeping, I don't know. I, I want to say, like, I was kind of prepared for this whole thing. And uh, so I do that, I roll the windows down, and 
for I decided to blast Dane Cook's album out the window, and it's the same album that I talked about before the car the car accident album, um, because it was at the time where I was just it could have been his other album as well because I downloaded both of them around the same time, and it was just a situation where I was listening to Dane Cook a lot. Uh, and I thought it was a good idea to blast Dane Cook. Now, this was, mind you, many years after Dane Cook was popular. This was the Dane Cook people were starting to talk shit about Dane Cook. But I am going all in on Dane Cook at that time. This is like 07 or so. Um, maybe 08. Somewhere around there. 07, 08. Uh, and maybe 07. 07, 06 maybe. Um but I didn't give a shit. I was just like, I'm going to blast this shit. I'm going to make out with this chick in the back of my my truck. And it was like, it was awkward. It was awkward. It was not comfortable. Um, you know, people walking by while we're groping each other and just basically being restricted to what we could do because we're out in public. Like, easily we could have had a cop show up and just arrest us for the things we were doing. But we weren't even doing that much because we were so restricted. Um, but yeah, it's just like looking back on that situation, especially being in L.A. where I'm sure the, the like literally Dane Cook could have walked by and heard a gold pickup truck blasting his, his uh, comedy special while two, you know, people in their 20s are acting like kids making out in the back of the truck. Later on, I think after the sun, it just didn't go very well. After the sunset, I think I put music on. Like I would kind of realized in the moment that listening to Dane Cook wasn't maybe the most romantic thing to be making out to. And may, so I started put on just some other just horrible music that I was listening to at the time, some like pop punk or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the, the night ended better than it started but overall it's just like let's just say we tested out the mattress but we didn't test it out completely because she was on her period and she wasn't into doing anything while she was on her period but she was fine doing stuff with me which i was fine with but for whatever reason i couldn't finish because it was just, I think just overall the situation, um, I just, w I wanted to have sex with her so bad. So having to settle for a blowjob just, it just didn't work. There were issues. Like sometimes it's hard for me to finish during a blowjob. Sometimes. It's just, it's not where I would rather be. I would rather be in a different hole. I Don't get me wrong. I love the blowjob. When, when it's good, it's good. But, you know, it's not always as good as, you know, the vagine, which is, you know, just it feels the best. Uh, but, yeah, so that's my date that I went on that shouldn't have involved Dane Cook in any way. But needless to say, I was making out with somebody in the back of my pickup truck. It was just like the most like white trash kind of like i'm visiting la even though i lived in san diego i don't know i don't know what was wrong with me people uh i apologize i apologize for this story uh new episodes of this show come out every day subscribe on igtv and everywhere else podcasts are found binge the full week in advance over patreon.com slash inspired disorder you get many other benefits when you become a member there Go to inspiredisorder.com for all of my original artwork and podcasts that I've done in my life. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.